Now let's look at the fourth method of finding rank of a matrix and this method is by definition. And uh, this is a definition of rank of matrix that is written on the board. But don't worry about this definition just now. As of now, let us look at the question and how we can solve. The question says the matrix A is given to you and you're supposed to find rank of matrix. Uh, instead of definition, I would like you to remember this, that if determinant of A is not equal to zero, then rank of A is the size of matrix. Just remember this and we'll try and solve. So what does this mean? This definition is simplified written over here. Don't try and read this definition right now. Just look at this. If determinant of A is not equal to zero, then the rank of A is size of matrix A. Well, let's just see what we can do using this blue line. How can we solve this? See the solution for this one. Well, I have a matrix A over here. First, I'll find this determinant of A, okay? Let's, let's solve and find determinant of this matrix A, which is, this is 2, 18, minus 16, minus 4, right? Minus 4, this is 9, minus 8, plus 1, okay? So if we solve this, this is going to be 2 to the 4, minus 4, oh, this is 24, sorry. Oh, so this is 24 minus 24, that is also 0. So I got determinant of A here as 0. Well, understand if determinant of A, the value, if it is non-zero, okay, then we would have said the rank of matrix is just 3. Because rank of matrix is nothing but the size of matrix, right? If but then that's not the case here. The determinant of matrix, uh, the determinant of matrix is zero. So now what is the rule here? Let me write down that rule as well. That if determinant of A is equal to zero, then rank of A is less than the size of matrix. Okay, that's how the point is. Uh, that's how this works. So we know that uh, determinant of A is zero. Now this implies that rank of A will be less than the size and size is three right now. What I mean by size is basically the order of the matrix. It is a three by three matrix. So it is definitely going to be, the rank is definitely going to be less than three. Okay, that is for sure. So it can be two or it can be one or it can be zero. Okay, so let's just check if the rank is two. So now next is a check for rank of A is equal to two. So we are just going to check for this possibility is the rank of A is 2. Now what we do here is we take a sub matrix of A. So a sub matrix of A, A is already a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's just take this sub matrix here and let's check the rank of that. So here if I take the sub matrix and find a determinant that is 2, 4, 3, 6. If I find a determinant this is 12. Oh, so the determinant here is 0. But understand now this matrix can have multiple sub matrices. So this is one combination. Now let's take second combination of these values and let's find a determinant of that as well. This is 3, 6, 4 and 8. Let's find a determinant here. 18 minus 24 plus 1 minus 24. What am I, am I writing 18? This is 24 minus 24. Okay, now this is also 0 for the second combination and you can take all such sub matrices. So now let's take this sub matrix. So now I have, I take a determinant of that. This is 4, 1, 6, 2. And if I solve this, this is going to be 4 to the 8 minus 6. Okay, so finally this is 2. Okay, and as soon as you get this as non-zero, so the moment you get this as non-zero, the rank of A is equal to size of that submatrix. Okay, so rank of A over here is going to be 2. So just remember the first statement that if determinant of A is not a zero, then rank of A is the size of matrix. So what happens here is, if I find out determinant of this sub matrix, I took this one, right? And the rank, the determinant value is not zero, the value is two. Now in that case, you say the rank of matrix is two, okay? So this is a very important point here that if determinant of A is not equal to zero, then rank of A is size of that sub matrix. 
Now, what I would like to just like make a quick point here that what if all two by two sub matrices would have got value zero? Like first one is zero, the next one is zero. What if this would have been zero? Then I would have checked one more. And what if that is also zero? Now, in that case, I would have gone for sub matrix of size one by one. Then I would have seen only one. Of course, that's not the case over here. Right now, for this matrix, the rank is two, right? So this is the definition. For definition, to remember this part really well. Very important. I repeat one last time that if determinant of A is not equal to zero, then rank is the size of the matrix. And if determinant of A is equal to zero, then rank is less than the size. All right. Now you can just maybe read. Let's give it a read to the, the, the formal definition of the rank of matrix. Now hopefully it should make sense. The rank of matrix is defined as the order of largest square matrix whose determinant is not zero. 